Hello and welcome to a new video. In this quick walkthrough, I will show you how to do performance testing for GraphQL using Apache GMeter. GraphQL is a query language for APIs and the runtime for fulfilling those queries with your existing data. GraphQL queries access not just the properties of one resource, but also smoothly follow references between them. Although GraphQL is still an API request from a point of view, but in GMeter it has a different center. So let's get started. We are going to use SpaceX GraphQL API. I will leave the link in the description below. But before we open GMeter, let's have a sample request that we can use. If we open the mission control here, as you can see, we already have um, sample requests. When you open it for the first time, you will only find this query, the example query. But we can add more queries from the left, so we can check, we can select chips. And in this case, if we run, we will get as a response all the chips that uh, SpaceX has. Um, now we have one step remaining before we open JMeter. Uh, we can copy the, the operation curve, so we can see the, um, and paste it in the text editor, like I'm doing right now. In this case, you can find the, the request type, the headers needed, the endpoint or the URL, and also the, the data, the body data. But we are not going to use this. We are going to use this formatted one from here. So yeah, let's open JMeter. In JMeter, as I mentioned before, we have a different sampler for GraphQL. Uh, before we start, we need to add a thread group and from thread group, right-click add sampler. You can find that we have a GraphQL HTTP request when we need here to fulfill our data. So we're starting with HTTPS for the server name or IP, we need the rest of the query. So we can go to the text editor and take the, not, sorry, not this one. We'll take all of this and then we can uh, modify it when we paste it here. Yeah, we will remove and then everything after dot land will be pasted in the post. Now we have the, the protocol as HTTPS, the, the domain or the URL and the HTTP request type is post and then the, the rest of the post for GraphQL. The one thing is remaining for this sampler is to uh, get the body data or the data. We can check, we can take this one from here. We can copy this and paste it in JMeter. Okay, if we, before we run, we need to add a sampler so we can add view results tree. If we run it like this right now, we will have an error because, yes, because we didn't add uh, headers. So we need to add the header manager. So, so from this request, we can right click add from config element, we can check HTTP header manager. And then we can copy the, the headers from here between the two single codes, the content type uh, header. And here we can add add from clipboard. So now we have a content type and a value for it. Okay, if we run this again, after adding the header manager, we we should have a successful response. Yeah, that's it. And here we have the results. We can view it in a more uh, pleasant way by selecting JSON here from the from the view as of three, and then you can yeah you can find that we had um, the same results we got from the mission control. Uh, if I if I want to do some performance or adding more users to this, I can. Add here maybe five users, ramping in 10 uh, seconds. Let's not have a time just for one iteration for once. And, and also add um, summary report. And if I executed the test right now, you can find that we have. For this specific request, we have an average minimum and maximum response time. Of course, this can be more complicated, but this is the simplest way to, to run a GraphQL performance testing using Apache GMeet. Hope you enjoyed this video and, and see you in another video.